Hey, come on, everybody. We're telling our, I'm, reading, I'm reading what's in front of me. That's what I, I do. I read. So it says, we're telling your followers that you started a live video. I'm drinking some iced tea. It's nice and cool. Come on, everybody. I'm welcoming you as you roll into this world. You're in your room, I'm in mine, but together we're feeling fine. Come on, everybody. Hello there. Mm, mm. Hi. Hiya, Quentin. Quentin, to a, that was paused due to a poor connection. I hope it doesn't do that again. Yo, what's up? Hey, hey, you, I know you too. Hi, how are you? Good evening. I really hope to meet you this year at a convention. Hi, sir. I see people I know, but I'm not going to mention their names because I did it before, and guess what? They left. <laughs> it's true. There's lots of folks who like to be on the screen and like to be... Um, uh, acknowledged, but sometimes folks just want to peek in and see what's going on, you know. And so I say hi to those of you I know that you know I know, we know one another. And uh, don't worry, there won't be any gotchas of putting you online. And right now, uh, the uh, prints are being put in order for me to sign. This is I'm signing live, but I'm signing and chatting. So right now I'm, I'm chatting with you. C currently it's a monologue. Yes. And um, I'm dressed for success and for the weather. Uh, what can I tell you? As I mentioned off the top, I'm drinking Tony iced tea, then it's good. I probably should have had a, a, a mug of cocoa. Maybe some coffee. Too late for coffee for me. But this is delicious, and it's, it's refreshing. So, alive and kicking, stay until your love is. Alive and kicking, stay till your love is. Love is alive. That goes out to someone who mentioned it. I am still alive and kicking and grateful for it. I'm grateful you are too. Um, let's see, what can I say? Um, I'll say Mac Attack. My dear artist friend, Mac Attack. Um, I'm curious about this. It said that the connection is weak and it's paused it twice. Should we just leave it be and roll with it? Is there anything on the Wi-Fi? Positive thoughts and energy. Thank you. Thank you. We got a couple of waves in there. So I'll wave back. I'll do multiple waves. Now watch my hand. The more you watch my hand, it becomes hypnotic. And right now it starts to become faster. It gets smaller and now it gets bigger. Watch it. As you're seeing it happen before your eyes. It's getting smaller and it's getting larger. And you're getting very sleepy. You're getting very tired. Getting very tired. Very tired. Where are we? What happened? I saw a fan, a hand, moving very quickly. It was small and then it got larger. Mm -hmm. I think I was hypnotized. Ah. Let's see. I like that there's a chat going on. You guys can chat with each other because usually off the top, hypnosis for sure. Um, I, I end up trying to meet every single conversation and when I do that I end up pausing it and holding it and 
Next thing you know, I'm way behind. And I'm willing to make a deal. I'm thinking of Jerry Reed suddenly and the Uptown Poker Club. Jerry Reed, when you're hot, you're hot. And when you're not, you're not. Throw all the money and let me roll them again. When you're hot, you're hot. It's a gambling song. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. When you're hot, you're hot. Well, when they took them into court, they couldn't believe my eyes. The judge was a fishing buddy I recognized. I said, hey, judge, old buddy, old pal, I'll pay you that money. I'll owe you if you get me out of this spot. So he gave my friend a little fine to pay. He turned around and grinned at me and said, 90 days, Jerry, when you hot. You hot. I said, thanks a lot. When you're hot, you're hot. So when you're not, you're not. You can get it all down at City Hall. He said, well, when you hot, you hot. Look that one up, won't you? Not now. Sometime. And we're reconnecting. You can also try disconnecting from the Wi-Fi in case there's just something going on. Uh, oh, you mean... It'll go blank if I do that, won't it? Sure. You mean just unplug? Oh, no. Connect, disconnect from the Wi-Fi. I'm going to disconnect from the Wi-Fi, gang. Hold on one moment, please. This, an image should be connection reconnecting. Okay. So now, we're going off of just, uh, you know, cellular data, baby. We hope that rocks. Oh, the stream has been fined on your end? Oh, besides the pausing. Well, hopefully we won't have any more pauses. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. I hope you had great holidays, and we're going to try and keep that going on now with a post Bing Crosby Christmas and a little Dean Martin, too. And some Sammy Davis Jr. right here for you. Oh, and then there's Jerry Lewis. He didn't celebrate too much. But Frosty the Snowman kept everyone in touch. And I want to be a dentist. Yeah, he was there, too. And Iruka Sensei. And Cone from Bleach. And Mickey Mouse. And Axel got it memorized. Reno, I'm still out here. Jim the Virtuoso, you're still on my mind. Silver, it's no use, but it's some use all the time. And then there's the Human Torch. Flame on for you and me. I'm Spider-Man, your friendly neighborhood. Fighting Venom, I see. Interesting. Very interesting, I say. Hmm. He does the mash. He does the monster mash. The monster mash? It was a graveyard smash. He'll catch on in a flash. Hakuna Matata was a very happy soul. There you go. Hakuna Matata. Hang them on. Sure. What else can I say? What's coming to mind? What are the characters that you don't mind? Marcus Damon, Digimon, Data Squad. There's that. Christopher Walken, Snake, Attorney, and Billy and Mandy. Wow. You. I don't know. But I'm a dancer. A crazy dancer. Do I like Legos? Who doesn't like Legos? I mean, it depends on what you're talking about. The kind you put together or, or what you see on, and play with in a virtual reality or the animation. Who do you voice in Billy and Mandy? I guessed voiced plenty of times on that series and uh, I, as I was just saying, they wrote a part for me. They being Richard Horvitz, Horvitz and his wife, Kristen. They wrote a role for me as a snake attorney at law. The attorney was a snake, get it? And um, they wanted me to do the voice of Christopher Walken acting as this attorney. So that's what I did when I guessed it on Billy and Mandy. I was on there several times. You'll... You know, you might have to look it up to figure out what other characters I played, but that one was very obvious. Your Honor, I think what we have here 
is a failure to communicate dishonest. You know, the city streets are empty now. The lights don't shine no more. And so the, the songs are way down low, turning, turning. A sound that flows into my mind, the echoes of the daylight, of everything that is alive in my new world, our new world, 2023, the way to be. Close your eyes, make a wish. More cowbell, more cowbell, more cowbell. Does that hypnotize you? Does it please you? Don't forget you voiced Bugfly Cop in Billy and Mindy. This is true. Okay. So I want to let you know, for those of you who are here, I'm doing a signing. This is a signing and chatting right now. I'm, I'm doing an uh, improvised monologue chat. I've just done a little bit of singing. I've done some impressions. Talked about some of the characters I do. And uh, I'll be signing for you some Axel prints, which are from the series Kingdom Hearts, and a few others that will be a surprise to me, um, which is good and always fun. Can I do Cone's voice if he were living in Raiden's, if he were living Raiden's life in Metal Gear? Sure. Uh, you'll get it. And I don't know if anyone else will. Oh, man. What do you want from me? Hold on. Colonel, we've managed to avoid drowning. You're welcome. Axel Prince, you need one. Well, you can actually order one off of Streamily while we're here uh, doing it live. Do I realize I'm rhyming? Yes. <laughs> I do it quite often. I do, even when I'm writing, there's times I, I, I can't get it out of my head, like the ELO song. I think it comes from writing uh, song lyrics, you know, and uh, singing songs and melodies, it comes along. Ding dong, ding dong. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't I? It's too much fun. To be in a league of alien, like Phil Collins sang. I don't know if that was with Genesis or Solo. I think it was Genesis. Oh, don't apologize ever for being happy. It's okay. Being happy is a good thing. Um, what else can I say? Uh, how are we doing with lists? Uh, mm -hmm, are prints ready to sign? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's do that so I can make some people happy. And, oh, also, uh, did you put, could you put in the link? Um, uh, what do you call it? Could you put in there how they could go to Streamly to order prints? Because there was uh, one fan there who said they would love to do so. I didn't know if they were going to love to do so today or not. I'm not sure about that. What do you think, people out there? <laughs> I'm waving hi to you. I'm waving hi to all. I'm waving hi to one and all. I see darkness. You may be one of the seven guardians of light now, but your belongs to the darkness. <laughs> As you may see, HTTPS colon backslash twice, Streamly.com slash Quentin Flynn, go there and you can order prints right now. And I will sign them while I'm sitting here. Let's just say I see bread people. Oh, I get it. I know what you did there. I see bread people and I want to eat them. I like bread. I like taking off the crusts and I like rolling up the bread into a ball and then biting it. It's nice, it's thick, it's delicious. Okay, I'm gonna start signing. Um, uh, the Axel, there's only one Axel print missed from last week? No, there's a few here, I'm just giving you one at a time. One at a time. Okay, here's what we're gonna do, just so you know. You crazy kids out there who I love so. I, uh, that was a pause. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a, a freeze so you think that this is stuck. Oh, my tongue was moving. Let's do a different one. Let's do it. 
It's easier if I do it without my hand. It. My eyebrows are moving. How about this? That's better. Something about gingerbreads. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I, I'm loving that I'm seeing laughter out there. That's good. Always leave them laughing, they say, but I'm not going to leave you. Here's what I'm going to do. Hey, fellow Ohioan, go Bucks. You love this guy, and this guy's in love with you. Uh, I am going to start signing these requests. So this will be the signing part. And then, I promise you, those of you who want to hang around and chit-chat, I will chit-chat more. Because oftentimes I chit-chat too much, and there's people who want to see their stuff signed, and they don't want to hang around so long, you know? So that's the, that's the new thing right now. So, first up, this one. This is Axel. I'm making this out to Aiden Downs. Ah, we got a big quote here. You really don't remember me. It's me, you know, Axel. This town is his creation, right? Wait. Which means we don't have time for a Q&A. You're coming with me, conscious or not. Then you'll hear the story. Let's meet again in the next life. Wow, that... There's no... Ah, I don't know where I'm going to put this. I need a little tiny Sharpie. Because it's going to cover... Uh, Aiden, I hope you're out there. If you're not, you'll see this. It's going to cover so much of this. This is going to be covered, maybe even parts here. It's going to be crazy, but you're asking for it, so you're going to get it. <laughs> Why am I talking like this? You sound like Pasolacqua. Who? Chris P. Oh, uh, my friend Chris Pasolacqua. He talks like this, Chris P. Hey, Quinny, how you doing? He's from Long Island. There's another friend of mine who passed away years ago, a character actor named... Chuck McCann. And Chuck McCann happened to be the rock thing on the Fantastic Four with me. It's clobbering time. Come on, Torchy. Flame on! All right. Let's see. I hope these pens and markers are all in good state. I tried them. They should be okay. Uh, all right. Thank you, dear. To Aiden Downs. Where should I start? Let's see. Maybe I'll start up in the corner in his hair. Now I'll start here. Hmm. This is thick. Do we have any new silver? Um, uh, I just opened a pack. There should be. Oh, should be in there. it's mixed in there somewhere. Yeah. Why is that? Like that's thick. Yeah. Okay. I'll need a new print of this because it's good this is a marathon Un momento thank you so much so grateful that you've come to join us thank you all right good this is sharp it's a sharpie a sharp sharpie Aiden Downs you're seeing me signing a little Aiden Downs action Oh, I'll put my head to the fore instead of over here. You won't see anything at all. But rest assured, this is what I'm doing. If I had an overhead camera, you could see that. I, I don't have one set up here. But that's something I will consider. Ah. This is brilliant. Night and day. Thank you, my dear. So you guys talk amongst yourselves, if you will. Hmm? Hmm? Let's pretend this is a class. I'm your professor. And at this time, instead of me sitting back while you do your studies and you fill out your papers, you get to chat while I fill this out. And then I'll come back to you. And you're not going to get in trouble for it. Yes. You really don't remember, okay?
See, that, that's a way to foster a community or curate one. You really don't remember? Question mark. It's me. You know. Is that correct? Where it's his axle, this time it's his creation. It's kind of a run-on sentence. Kind of, yeah. No axle, common. Oh, so you know, Axel, this town is his creation, right? Strange, okay. Well, you know Axel. Maybe it's a period. It's me, you know, Axel. This town is his creation, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which means we don't have... Which... Means... We... Ignore what I'm saying. This is not to you. This is to the print. We don't... Have... Time for a Q and a. Now come in with me. You're coming with who? Me or me, me or you, you, me. Conscious or not. Mm. Wow. It's pretty bossy. Sounds like a threat to me. How about you guys out there? Hmm. You're coming with me, conscious or not. That made me dizzy. But there's no exclamation. So there's no yelling going on. I find it interesting that when I was rocking and popping with you guys, we had 43 people, which dwindled down to 39. And now because I'm doing the work, it's at 28. Mm, people want to be entertained. They don't want to see me sign for other people. Mm. They're going to miss out when I come back because I'm going to rock. I'm just seven years old. No, I'm just four years old. With a beard. <laughs> A gray beard. You for the blue beard? I'm gray beard. Oh no, now we've moved up to 31. Let's see if we can do 32 and then move up to 34, 35, 50, 60, 70, 80. I have a bring on jack selection figure. Boom. Okay, or not. Then you'll hear the story. When you see this, you guys are going to be impressed. Then you'll here the story a never-ending story a never-ending story did you know that singing helps uh, lift your mood and make you feel better and i don't have my kazoo handy but if you uh blow on your kazoo mm, <laughs> that uh, is soothing for those of you who have anxiety and puts you in a uh, good mood. <laughs> All right. It's true. I didn't make it up. I don't tell you things that are made up. But if I do, I tell you they are. 
follow. Savvy. Let's meet again in the next live, shall we? Captain Jack Spiro. Mm -hmm. Let's meet again. Remasor wants to know when you're having a kazoo show. When am I having a kazoo show? <laughs> I will do it after I'm done with the prince. I, I'll find that damn thing. It's the last thing I do. <laughs> the swearing shows people are smarter sometimes, believe it or not. Come on, Mac, you've got to be kidding me. I could curse all day. I, I don't know if that's going to raise my, my intelligence bar or yours. Let's meet again. In the or the next life. See, it it pays for me to speak it and sign it. This is insane. Love. I put a heart for love. Quinton. Got it memorized. <coughs> now then, I want you to see what I've done. <laughs> Flying Flynn, indeed. Oh, look at this. Jeez. My goodness! See, this is, now, to some of you, it may be amazing. Maybe exactly what you want. But I, I was also a guest reviewer on MTV back in the day. Was I? Okay. I, uh, unless this appeals to you, and I'm not denigrating Aiden Down's request at all, but bear in mind that when you ask for something of this caliber or nature, it is long. It's quite a journey around. But we made it work, didn't we? <laughs> there you are, Aiden Downs. All right. You get that and the paper. Um, then someone had a really good question for you that I saved. Okay, good question coming up. Uh, it's from David. What's harder, having consistency when dubbing a character or creating a character's voice from scratch? What's harder, having consistency when dubbing a character or creating a character from scratch? Mm, they're two different techniques. I'm used to dubbing, so that's not so hard anymore. It's a timing thing. It's a, a bit of music. I find dubbing to be it's a combination of timing. So you got rhythm going on. You have acting. Mindfulness of the time and space at work to create and put it in just right. So that's a challenge, which becomes easier the more times you do it. But creating a character, uh, I would say for me, is not as hard anymore because I've been doing it for years. And so I have a lot of things I can draw from and pull from and put out there. Um, someone asked when I started voice acting. Well, I would say professionally, oh gosh, over well over 30, 30 years ago. I'd say 30 years ago or more. Um, but I started doing impressions as a child. A friend of mine and I used to get together and we would make lists of impressions. We would do impressions of impressionists' impressions that we saw on TV. So, yeah. Speaking of what's harder, what's more difficult, collaborating with another musician as a singer or perfecting a character's battle cry slash scream. Well, what's harder? Again, I don't know. In this case, it's apples and oranges. You know, it, when you're collaborating with another musician, um, well, in this case, I would be the singer collaborating with someone else, usually. I mean, I, I can write as well, but I'm 
I'm great with lyrics and vocals to add to something that's already there. If we're in the groove and we connect, it works well. If you got it, it does. Uh, or perfecting a character's battle cry scream. Um, I don't know if there's so much to perfecting a battle cry scream. By doing voice acting for many years, you get a sense of where to put it in your body and to project it. And if you are the character, then you intuitively know it. So I would say the latter is easier. The character by yourself, working with the director, as opposed to the collaboration. And we have another print, a stack of prints. In fact, if we do, I'll just do one after another. Or, yeah. Okay. On to the next print. This is for Alex Catalina. This happens to be the same print, very popular, Axel from Kingdom Hearts, for those of you who don't know it. And Axel would like me to write, hey, Axel, or hey, Alex. Sorry, this is for Alex. The name's Axel, got it memorized, and Quentin Flynn. Okay, that's going to be a little easier for me to do. To talk amongst yourselves. The progressive era was neither progressive nor an era. Discuss. Alex Catalina. What an impressive name. Hey, Alex. I say, hey, Alex. Yeah. The name's Axel. Got it memorized? Yeah. Is that all you have to say? Yeah. <laughs> Lest you think that was scripted, my friends. That was pure improvisation. <laughs> You know what? You could also say got it memorized. Start a whole new trend and wave. I put a question mark after that. <laughs> I have plenty of room to sign my name on this one. And look at this. To Alex Catalina. Hey Alex. The name's Axel. Got it memorized. Beautiful, luxurious, like rich Corinthian leather. What you looking at? There you go. Cassidy Lauren just joined. There's Mac Alpha Man, Superior Spider Man, and Kite 1965 Backup. What does it say? Unless you've voiced two or eight characters in the same show, just like how Seth MacFarlane, who voiced Peter, Brian, Stewie, Quagmire, Carter, Punishment, and many more characters that he voiced. You must have been responding to somebody else. Now I'm doing my makeshift Cleveland voice, because it's fun. All right. Hey. What do you mean you're going to be a zombie? What does it say? All right, it's been fun, but if I don't get to sleep now, I'm going to be a zombie when I get to work. Have a good night. What time is it there? Catch you on another live stream, Quentin. Okay. It's great to see you, whatever you are. We love Sheldon. Random question. But do you remember dubbing for a Japanese game called Yakuza in 2005? Yes, I do. I do. Don't challenge me. But challenge me. Okay, we're making this one out to Megan. Does this look familiar? There are no special instructions. This is my favorite kind. M-E-G-A-N. And there it is. Much love, Megan, it's for you. It's for you, Megan. I thank you. 
Did I do it correctly? Yes, I did. And what is next? We will see. It's another Axel for you from me. This one goes out to Nermine. Never mind. Nermine. I want everybody to m I meet to remember me. Inside people's memories, I can live forever. You heard me. Don't make me repeat it. Thank you. I appreciate you remembering me. To remember me inside people's memories. People's. I, I will write how you spell. People's. Memories. I can live forever. You want to live forever? I'm sorry, but your quote looks like an H, but it's not. Live Forever, Oasis. Look it up if you don't know it. Pretty good song. If I do say so myself, and I do. I want everybody on me to remember me. Inside people's memories, I can live forever. Ooh, that goes out to Mermine. Nermine. 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 Uh, as always, there's an open door from the darkness. There's always a door to the light. So here's something. Um, thank you, Zenorius. I appreciate that. And Jim the Virtuoso does too. And Caroline dot Elizabeth says, Hi, Sam. Bunny dot Rose dot XX joined. Hello, Bunny dot Rose. Nermine, you're here. You're welcome. I don't always check to see if these people are here, but you said thank you, so you're here. I think it's awesome. Please do your quag my voice again. It's great. Well, thank you very much. Hey, hey, the, the gang's all here, and I'm happy. No, I, I didn't do quagmire, did I? I did Cleveland. Your quagmire voice is thinking here, isn't it? Isn't that kind of a quagmire? Mm -hmm. Yeah, quagmire. Let's go party. Hey, let's go see some girls. Hey, skibbity doo. I don't know. Peter, what do you think? Peter, how does he talk? Like, where are we, where are we going? He's he got a Boston. He's got the Boston thing, but he's back. No, he's sunny. I haven't worked on Peter. Did they say we got a little quagmire going on? And, and Cleveland. I got some Cleveland. I had Cleveland before. Here's my Cleveland. I think that's Cleveland. Yeah, he's kind of close to Sandy Davis. Cleveland is close to Sammy Davis. If you speed him up, I sound like Sammy Davis. Caroline dot Elizabeth. Totally random question, Q, but I want to have a Kingdom Hearts slash Star Wars wedding one day. Would you and Sam, it should be Sam, I'm assuming, be willing to come if I'm invited? That all depends. Will we be flown in? Will we be put up? Will be will be we will we be taken care of because it it's costs out of pocket, you know. It's an appearance, I'm afraid. So there's a good possibility. I'll say maybe. How's that? <laughs> All right, right now, you lovely people. Mwah. Another one of these. Let's join the guy 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 guy's arch. Sounds like it'd be like 
Join the guy's arch. Hey, you gotta memorize arch. What are you doing? Kayuk. Gotta memorize, Quinton. Yes, Bonnie Dot Rose. Stop. XX, I do. Caroline Elizabeth. All the love. All my love to you now. That's Led Zeppelin. This goes out to Andrea or Andrea Van Valenzuela. No specific instructions, which makes me very happy. Andrea or Andrea. I've known both. Each. Talk amongst yourselves. Oh, this one's a little thicker. Valen Valenzuela. Andrea. Andrea is it Andrea Andrea or Andrea maybe you can type it in such a way where I can figure that out Sam's taking a look Messed this one up. Poopy. Oh, it happens. It happens. Fire. Someone says both. Is that Aqua? Oh, no. yes, yes. 90? Oh, you, both ways work for you. Oh, okay. Dang. Maybe I'll try either, another one that might be new. They go fast. They, 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 they lose their point so quickly. Well, this one looks similar to the last one. Maybe I'll try being a little more genteel. There we go. Much. Well, it makes it so much easier when I'm talking and writing. I don't know why. Andrea, uh, for you, you should make sure here. Speaking of which, you are holding your jet stream, Sam, in your hand. It's fantastic, isn't it? I think so. From the genetics of my family and the genetics who decided to murder my nose senses, that's why he can't smell. Yes, riding with a sombrero is funny. Marvel, marvel at it all. I posted that new print on the shop earlier. Ah, yes. We have, oh, I'm, I'm, oh, excuse me, I'm going to wipe my nose. <laughs> there are new prints. If you go to http colon backslash backslash streamily dot com backslash Quentin Flynn. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. If you do that, You'll see all the prints I have that I can sign for you. And this one is the latest. It is Raiden in a sombrero in which he is trying to disguise himself and blend in. He puts on the sombrero, and I believe he also puts on a poncho, which is not shown here. And he says, Adios, amigos. Yes, you do need it. So, you must get it. Get it. Mm -hmm. Yes, patience is a virtue, you're right. And then when you get it, you'll be so excited. Um, I posted this one, too. And here's another one we've posted. It's a new one of Cone. Oh, my God, look. It's me, Anichigo. Wow. 
and behind them is a shop called Lawson's that is big in Japan. Well, there's also a band out of Cleveland called Big in Japan, but that's another story entirely. So this Lawson's, you see, of which most Americans know nothing of, actually started in America. And I see someone who joined, who grew up in the same neighborhood as I did, who might remember that we had a Lawson's on the corner of Wilson Mills and Psalm Center Road in Mayfield Village, Ohio. And it, uh, it was a dairy place, you know, where you could get uh, cold cuts and uh, your snacks and just the things for your house, uh, cleaning products, disinfectants, the daily newspaper, some candy, whatnot. But it was eventually replaced um, by another shop whose name escapes me. But we loved Lawson's because they were big for their orange juice and their milk. And they're big in Japan. How that factors into this photo, I don't know, but this is a delightful photo. Don't I mean Watts? Watts. Is that a joke? Are you talking about Watts in California? I think someone was talking about Tom Waits. Tom Waits? If somebody's talking about Tom Waits, it would be Waits. Tom Waits, he sings like this. I saw you found the I'm a feisty kitty I go meow meme the other day. <laughs> and I'm not drunk, but my piano is drinking. Tom Waits, big in Japan. Ah, thank you, Ted. Here's another one. Axel, that is going to be signed for Amanda Faust. I don't care what the people are thinking. I'm not drunk, I'm just drinking. Iruka Sensei says, Cone, if you're good, I'll take you out for some ramen. And Sheldon says, I love Jenny. My life is a teenage robot. I created Silver Shell to win Jenny's love, but it didn't work. And then Don Prima came by to say, I'm a jerk. <laughs> okay, Amanda Faust. That went out to you, Kate. I hope you're feeling better. Amanda. Amanda, song by Boston. Look it up, folks. Really wonderful. Our favorite, Sunder. Sunder, Sunder, Sunder. Sundere. Sundere. Our favorite, Sundere. Favorito. Sondere. Sondere. When the moon, when, when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's some more. That's some more. Pasta fazu. You're in love. You're in love. Thanks, Jerry. Okay. <laughs> Here you go. Boy, this is good. Here you go, Amanda. Lots for you, lots for you. Tippy, tippy, too, tippy, tippy, too. Annabella. And they say, tippy, tippy, tay, tippy, tippy, tay, tippy, tippy, tay. My well. Okay, we're caught back up. That was a little rewind we had to do. Mrs. Ryden, I am lightning, the rain transform. Some call me the white devil. Why do they? I don't know. But somebody out there knows. This goes out to Ad Alex Catalina, another one. I am lightning, the rain transformed. I didn't even know it said that, I just went there. Spaghetti. Masterpiece game, Masterpiece Theater. Welcome to Masterpiece Theater. My name is H. Corona Leslie M. Snape. 
I am Snape. Who are you? Mr. Potter. What are you doing again? Mr. Weasley, get back in your seat. I don't like what you're doing. Please, you're making me sick. What do you want? I turned into Doodle Bob for a second. I don't know who Doodle Bob is. Enlighten us, won't you? I might be sober. I am sober. I'm always sober. It's true. Okay. I can't know if I use the black or the gold on this one. Actually, the silver works the best. Alex Catalina. Actually, maybe not. The gold? Let's try the gold. Alex Catalina, you're in love, Alex Catalina, I am lightning the rain transformed, da 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 dun 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 dun, it sounds like the theme from the A-Team, da 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 dun 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 dun, sort of. Hear the squeaks? You like that or does that bother your ear? <laughs> uh oh. We're running out of space. I don't like that. I don't like it. Ah. But I figured it out. I had to push down on this damn thing to make it work. Yes. And it worked. And it worked. Tell all your friends about my singing. If you're Hollywood, you will be bringing. Put me on Broadway, Broadway. Let's do a musical together. About a robot guy who sings as he flies in the sky. I'm going for a record, you should say. I should say, you should do, I'm doing it too. A record of time, a record of record, <coughs> sound and energy. Here you are, Alex Catalina. I am lightning, the rain transformed. You see that? Look at that. You see all that? Look at that, it's hot. Ow, 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 it's I'm burning my, ow, fingers. That's hot. That's hot, that's very hot. How hot is that? Well, it's pretty hot. All the fans out there say it's hot. <laughs> wow, it's hot, it's really hot. Coming back to you live here on M105, your favorite rock station here in Cleveland, and the, and, uh, the world around. <clears throat> Zenorius asks, how often do you go on Instagram Live, Quentin? Bravo, bravo, thank you. I think of what you should say, and I bend, here I go, at the waist, I bend, and I bow. I bend, I bow, and I, I bang in my head. <clears throat> to answer your question, I don't go on Instagram Live quite often enough. Samantha and I were discussing it, and I was considering going on once a week. What do you think? Gold does look good on that. You are right. Now I am having a Mario vibes. Uh, I am, it's me, Mario. Uh, yeah, I, I say, I like to smell it. Uh, 
Someone said, it sounds like a great plan. I'd be down for sure. Sure. Okay, then I'll ask you a question. If I do it, should I have a different topic each week? Should it just be me talking to you guys? Or should I do a podcast where I speak to somebody else? I am still working on connecting you with, uh, I think it's called StreamYard, so that you can stream from multiple platforms. Okay. Quentin Flynn Live once a week. You like that. All right. Well, ah, someone else here is very nice. Says, whatever fits into your schedule, Mr. Mr. Amazing, I just know I purchased some work from you. I can't wait to hang it up. <laughs> Hello. The Nottingale. How are you? You all right? Someone says both again. That would be Andrea. Or Andrea. All of the above. Silver the Hedgehog. Also, amazing theme song called Dreams of an Absolution by Bentley Jones. If I'm not mistaken, Bentley Jones is an Englishman. I say that because of the name, because I've never known a Bentley in America. Except on the streets, and he didn't speak. What's up? You tell me what's up, Nightingale. Hi. Was those Alex's for you, Catalina? There's a Catalina Island outside of California. Artemis the Moon is back, live with Quentin Flynn. Is that what you're suggesting I call it? Or are you just saying live with Quentin Flynn because you just um, popped in? You're a very clever, sarcastic one. I remember you from the last time. Very smart. Very smart, yeah? Right now, I feel... Like, oh, Brittany's your name, actually. Then you're not the Alex. That's all right. I started to slide into a little bit of um, Russell Brand there for a moment. Now I am going to sign Jim the Virtuoso. Who is the Virtuoso, if you know... You hope your print gets signed before you have to leave for the night. Logan? Well, I'm going to start doing these a little faster then. Okay? All right. This is going to be made out to Don. Don Juan, prima donna. Ow! Don, could you add, in carnage I bloom like a flower in the dawn? Yes, Don, I can. And I will. For you. In carnage, I bloom like a flower in the dawn. Well, he would say it that way, wouldn't he? In carnage I bloom, like a flower in the dawn. But how about this way? In carnage I bloom, like a flower in the dawn. Period. End of quotation. One, two, three, four. For those of you waiting to see me sign your print, I will do so as soon as I can. And um, here we go. This is for Don Juan. Beauteous Maximus. In carnage I bloom like a flower in the dawn. In carnage I bloom like a flower in the dawn. Anyway, as I was saying, this is going to be put up properly. We had some technical difficulties last time. I did. And uh, it will be there for you to see. But hopefully I'll get to it. I'm going one after the next. <laughs> okay, here, what do we have here? We have an 8x10 print of Raiden. And it's not made out to anybody in particular. It just says it has to be this way. Okay. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. I 
I don't know why it has to be this way, but it does. Well, look at that. Now, when you don't put as much text on there, in all that beautiful negative space, that is beauteous maximus. I think, but that's just my opinion. And there's plenty of room for me to sign my name. Oh, someone's double jointed out there. I was too. I think I am still, but I'm not sure. Because I haven't checked lately. I used to do it back in grade school. Where they would grade you sometimes. Well, Judy do. I like getting graded too. <laughs> Maybe over in the lounge where the ladies are. Have some drinks. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, you always drinking. You silly. You a silly man. Yes, he's very silly, don't you think? I think so. I think so too. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing there? Mummy! 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 Alright, so this one is riding number two for Andrew Pearson, if you're out there, Andrew. This one's for you. This one's for you, wherever you are. That's Barry Manilow. I'm going to do this in gold. Andrew Pearson. Oh, yeah, Rima Sor, a couple minutes ago, uh, asked people if they had heard, Heart Won't Die. I saw that. Yes. And I was just in touch with Dan O'Donoghue, who is the drummer for the band. Uh, yesterday and today, he sent me a little practice, a, a video from the, the rehearsal space when we jammed together before we played live that year in a couple of gigs around London. We recorded separately between Los Angeles and London, and then when I went over, we performed that, that track in their set live at two different venues the same night. Three different venues, if you include the convention. To Andrew Pearson, wherever he may be, There you go, Andrew. Letter rip. From me, Quinton Flynn. I thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. There you go. We are rocking along now. And this is art. There's, a, there's even art in signing. Do you know that? This one goes out to Andy. Please sign it to Andy in silver or black or both, if you'd prefer. Also, please write where we hid her is classified info. Oh, my. Thank you, smiley face. You're welcome, Andy. I will do that. Let's see. Ooh, this is going to be another one. This kind of stuff. Uh, I think I'm going to do black. Wait, then again. We, we shall see, my friend. We shall see. To Andy. Where we hit her is classified info. You got it. Andy, where we hit her, where we hit still out here, where we hit her is classified information, is classified information. Hush, hush, if you know what I mean. Oh. 
Okay, we are rocking and rolling with these prints. Prints. Ah! Okay. This one goes out to Katharina Mutafi. Mutafi. Hello, Quentin. Thank you for a memorable performance. I'd like an uplifting quote in character. Maybe, if possible, oh, a mention of other characters like Isa, Roxas, and Shion. An uplifting quote. Oh, goodness. In character. I don't know if you mean that we want one from the game or one that I made up on my own. I don't know. What's an uplifting quote? In character. Ah, well, let me think about this. Let me think about something that's an uplifting quote from my own memory banks. Or maybe some of you out there have one. An uplifting quote from Axel. I've got something. You're welcome. Oh. I will improvise then. Makes perfect sense. I will read you the quote. Just a moment here, folks. As I listed all of their names at the top, to Katharina Mutafi and Isa Roxas and Shion, just remember that the farthest distance we have to travel is from our heads to our hearts. Intimate, uplifting, beautiful, and powerful. Wouldn't you say? Stunning. All right. What do we got here next? What do you say? Mm -hmm. Hey, Simon Six. Hey, Albert. Hey, Ali Soundwave. Hey, Luke Columbus. Hey, Macatech. Hey, Sora. Past few days have been rough for you. This is a major day. I'm so glad, too. These are tough times. There's a lot going down for a lot of people. I'll let you in on something. I suffered a great loss today myself. But the show must go on. 
he's in a better place. Did I enjoy voicing Jin again for his legendary skin? I always enjoy voicing Jin whatever skin or mood he's in. Oh, thank you. I thank you for your, your uh, condolences. Oh, Caroline, eh, that Elizabeth uh, has returned. Thank you, Gilded Artist. Thank you, Lolita Sophia. Thank you, Caroline Elizabeth. Do I think Axel and Reno have the same personality? Nope. But I think they have the same man behind him who has a has the same personality. And depending on the copy they write, sometimes I deliver it in a similar way, but I think you can tell that there's a difference in character, even though it be subtle. Hi from Los Angeles, Scary Girl one oh, 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 Scary Girl fifteen. I'm I, I, I was thinking of LA yesterday and today. I miss it. Thank you, Aqua. I appreciate that. Thank you, Artemis. Thank you, Albert. He was a very dear friend of mine. I knew him for a long time. We played in a band together called Slow Motorcade back in the 90s in Los Angeles, California. Do I have a favorite role, someone just asked. The one that I'm performing at the time. Like this one, which doesn't have a name, but I'm doing it anyway. Wilmington, duh. She's in a beer. Thank you. Yes. Alzheimer's is difficult. Yes, give your friend a big thank you and a hug for the print. And what was I talking about? I've been talking about all kinds of things. Uh, I've always been the voice of Rena for you and everyone else, I would say. Can I get Axel to say, give it up already? Come on, Roxas. I thought you were stronger than that. Thank you, Lolita Sophia. I will take those prayers, those thoughts and prayers. I miss my friend David. I'm sorry he's gone. Um, he went. Oh my God, what am I hearing? I'm hearing a printer. That's good. Uh, scary girl, 15. I'm sorry. You're sorry for my loss. Sending me hugs and good vibes. Thank you. I need them, you know. I was afraid to say something because the show must go on and. I just wanted to keep things upbeat, which I promise they always will be when I have an audience in front of me. But when I'm alone, it's a little different. Ask my wife. Um, I'm talking about the Bristol Stomp, of course. Hmm, I wish I knew what that meant. Because it sounds brilliant. It sounds like an English dance. A British dance. You're talking about the Bristol Stomp. Of course. Everybody does the Bristol stomp. The show must go on, but intermissions are okay, too. That's classic. I love it. Take care of yourself. I will, and I am. And you know what? Part of it is being here with you. It really does help. Yes, he is in the great beyond. You found a video between a graveyard and a cemetery? I could see it if I like. I don't know how I could see it, but I suppose I could. I'm going to have a sip of my iced tea. How about that? What do you think about that? Aw, thank you. It's nice to see your smile when you say you're, being, you're here for me. I appreciate that. Yeah, baby, he's live. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. ooh, ooh. Shall we shag now or shall we shag later? I know what it's like to lose someone close to you. I just graduated college and I wish my aunt was here with me. I have a heart pendant with her picture in it and I wore it on my stole. Was it a mink stole? It's a song from 61, 61 a, an English punk band. I don't know. That would be my guess. I'm glad she was with you. She was watching from above, certainly. Glad to be here. Susanna says, oh my gosh, love your gal giggling in the background. Hope to meet her one day. She loves your bunny. Oh. Susanna. 
Uh, she also asks me, wanted to ask, how are you able, thank you, Artemis, how are you able to get her in the basket and get her to stay and ride around with her on your bicycle? Um, because uh, her bun, uh, it's difficult to even pick her up and hold her tight. What's this, grandmother, Christmas gift? She's the originator of your birth name. She died when you were on your in your final year of junior high or something. You cut out the or something. I'm editing you right now like a teacher. But I know she has her spirit in my switch as the final pr Christmas present she gave me. That's lovely. Artemis says Sam's great. Oh, thank you. We've got some other people joining. Um, no, another friend of mine just wrote me a text about a friend passing. I'll call him later. Well, everyone, it's 5 a.m. for me, wherever you are, so you will retire to bed slowly. Thank you for the company, and thank you for the wonderful signature, Quentin. Excited to see it. Did you see it? Sora underscore Hinari? Yeah, she was here. Oh, good. Excellent. Right now, I've got one that's going out to Gin the Virtuoso. And... It's not made out to anyone in particular, but it's asking me to write the character name, Jen the Virtuoso, and the following quote that would be awesome. Prepare for your finale. I can do that. Not in black. It will blend in. Silver is what we need in this instance. Jin the Virtuoso. Hmm. Ah, this is smearing, isn't it? I don't know why. Does this work? It looks fine to me, even if you don't like how thick it is. It's a little schmeary. Oh, just fill it out a little bit. It was thinning. Let's make it thicker, thicker, thicker. Yeah, thicker, 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 thicker. Yeah, thicker. You guys remember that commercial? I'll bet you don't. Well, one of you might. Susanna might. Jin the Virtuoso, what am I writing? Prepare for your finale. <laughs> Prepare for your finale. 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 Prepare for it. And prepare for your finale. Understand? In his chin. Prepare for your finale. 
There it is. Going out to N.A., which means not applicable. That looks good. Yeah. Got the okay from Sam. Not Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. What's this say from Johanna? I think I connected your live to my neighbor's TV. If you scream, I'll be very happy. I don't know how I did that. I don't know how loud I can scream. Naruto? Naruto! Ah! Oh, oh Jerry Lewis. Oh, ding! That's as loud as I'll get. Logan underscore Miller 3, that was yours. You are so welcome. You are so very welcome. You're welcome to be here. You are so welcome. You are so welcome from me signing from the rear. I'm signing in front. I'm signing behind. I'm signing from the side. You are so welcome. You are so welcome. And you're my kind of guy. That's what you get, huh? How about that? That's right, Logan, baby. Oh, you can still hear the writing voice, and it's awesome. Fantabulous. <laughs> This one goes out. Oh, goodness. Thank goodness these things are more durable than a child bouncing on a concrete in the summer. This is Axel. Make it out to no one in particular. Please inscribe it with Axel. And the quote got it memorized. Man, I can do that like nobody's business. Watch this. Let's see. Axel, got it memorized. Oh, like I'm Axel. He's Axel. I'm Axel. Do you want some more tea? I'll take anything. Yeah. Oh, great. Thank you. I guess it's good it wasn't coffee, right? Yes. I didn't get you a coffee. No, it wouldn't be good for me. This is Axel. I'll try and make it snazzy. I've got a headache. Maybe could you get some headache tablets in a moment? Yeah. Just wait till I give you this first. Oh my goodness. Please. Just because, you know, the next one might be a bibliography. Or a biography or an autobiography. This one is just a not applicable. It's my favorite as I said before. There you go. Got it memorized. This we are rocking and rolling on this print machine as I'm talking to you all. Keep it mean and lean. You see, light is made out of lots of colors, and out of all of those colors, red is the one that travels the farthest. That is a quote, of course, from Kingdom Hearts. I believe, and if I'm wrong. I'll wipe my nose off. <laughs> I was at a restaurant the other, the other night. I was on the road. I don't recall which city I was in. I think it was Chicago on an overnight. And someone was sitting, eating with their friend. And when they went to wipe their nose, instead of, you know, this kind of thing, or maybe taking in a tissue... You know, and, and wiping the nose like, like such, you know, just dabbing, dabbing, dabbing the nose and doing, doing that. They did this. I shit you not. And they were an adult of 40 years on. That's just bad manners. Funny you said that quote. A couple of nights ago on Instagram, I attended a live stream starring Jesse McCartney and his old friends Dream Street. His dream, was Dream Street a band he was in? Is that what you say? His old friends, Dream Street? Did he have a street he was dreaming of? I heard Wow from Scary Girl and Damn and Artemis went, yeah. yeah, isn't that weird? Isn't that disgusting? I couldn't believe it. Thought maybe if I was in nursery school, I, I, I might have bore, bore witness to that or kindergarten or in a neighborhood, but not some adult. I wanted to walk over and go, there are different ways to do that, you know. More ladylike, too. 
<laughs> hmm. That is vile. <laughs> oh, did you see what I did? Yeah. Good. Well, oh, that is vile. Poor person. She wasn't a poor person, I can tell you that, but... Yeah. I can't believe a lady would do that. Yeah, that, that lady was no lady. You know what I mean? <laughs> this one goes out to Kevin. I think it's time for Jack to let her rip. I think it's Quentin time. Not Quentin time, it's Quentin time. It's time for Quentin to write it out. This is going out to Kevin. We love you, Kevin. Oh, yes, we do. We love you, Kevin. And you be too. When you're not doing us, we blue, 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 blue. Oh, Kevin, we miss you. That's an Elvis Costello improvisational impression singing. Because that's how Elvis Costello sings. Her hand, sorry, exactly. What's so funny about peace, love, and understanding? Oh, I think it's time for Jack to let her rip. I think it's time for Jack to let better rip. Did you hear how clean that was? Mm -hmm. Rip, 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 rip. The dogs are barking over here. Not in here, but around here. On this, in this particular area. There you go, Kevin. I think it's time for Jack to let her rip. I think it's time for Jack to let her rip. We're on a roll, people. I'd love to hear Henry cool down from the man who made owning a wee worth it. Well, here you go. Oh, doggos. That's right. They're barking dogs. The black dogs. That, oh, Winston Churchill suffered from. He called them the black dogs, right? Depression. That's right. So I had me cool down. That's me right here. And this one here is, oh, it's a different riding print book, you know. That's going to someone. And uh, it's not a specific. They don't have specific uh, instructions for me. So I'm going to do it the way I like to do it myself. I uh, had me cool down, but I won't write me that, my name like that. Zeg underscore cosplays. May I have a print? Well, of course you may. All you have to do is go to http colon backslash backslash streamily.com slash Quentin Flynn. And if you look in the chat, the real Mrs. Flynn sent it to you. And you can order right now while I'm still online from Streamily. They'll send us a notification and I will sign it for you. Happily. There are so many great things in there. From Raiden to Reno to Axel to Spider-Man to Jin the Virtuoso to uh, Silver, it's no use. To Sheldon and tons of Khan. Because, hey, the series is back on. Bleach. Thousand Year Blood War. All right. Oh, also, for some reason, someone pointed out to me earlier that your send ins were disabled. So I turned those back on so people can also send in their own oh. stuff to have you sign. So my send ins at once were disabled, but they're not anymore. So if you have send ins, you can do that. Sometimes that's dodgy. Why is he floofy, if I may ask my friend's sister's friend? To the bandit of the Earth Kingdom and beyond! I love your Dis Disney and Digimon voice work 3000. Akuna Matata! Are you going into the future? Digimon! Voice work! Digimon hot! What's my favorite moment when I'm voicing Raiden? After I finish my last line and they say, That's a wrap. 
Can I send in a pineapple, says Artemis? If you like. As you wish. Um... Well, I gave him an extra, he had no special instructions, so this is what I gave him. Now it's time for Jack to let her rip. Look at that, that's hot. And golden as well. That's what, that's what the cone used to say, I think. Or the people who followed whatever line he said. Golden, golden. Just a mega fan of your works, Kingdom Hearts, Digimon Data Squad, the Marvel series, Mar Marvel Universe, Timon and Pumbaa especially, thank you. I will tell you quickly, in the Marvel Universe, I have played Spider-Man, Venom, the Human Torch, then some villains, Arcade, Anvil, and there's one more I'm missing. Oh, Malaketh the Accursed. So all in all, that's four villains and two heroes. I've also played Deadpool, that makes seven on YouTube in a YouTube series called Cartoon Hookups. You can see that for free. I did a little writing in that as well. Check it out. It's fun. It's a little raunchy. It's cute. There's lots of other characters too. It's not just me. This one, we're making out to Brandon. Are you kidding? Do you know how popular I am? I got loads of people rooting for me. Sorry, boss. No one acts as Axel. Got it memorized. Couldn't have said it better myself, and yet I did. All right. Caroline wanted to know what your favorite uh, moment voicing Axel was. Oh, I, I did tell my favorite vo voice uh, moment in voicing Axel. Oh, you did? Yeah, it's when I deliver my last line and they say, that's a wrap. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know that I have a favorite um, line as Axel. Mm -hmm. Oh, Axel, you asked. Sorry, I thought... Maybe someone asked Ryden, and now this person's asking Axel. I don't have a favorite line, you, uh, honestly. Except, no, actually, this is not true. It just came up in front of me. You kidding? Do you know how popular I am? <laughs> I got loads of people rooting for me. Sorry, boss. No one acts as Axel. Got it memorized? It's that first section. You kidding? You know how popular I am? Because, you know, the character is saying that, and then I'm saying it beneath the character, so there's kind of a double meaning there. As a suggestion. So yeah, you kidding, do you know how popular I am? I got loads of people rooting for me. It's just an amazing line that they wrote for this character. He's breaking the fourth wall when he says it, you know? He's telling his friends and then he's telling, he's looking at you too, you know what I mean? Only time it happens. In the series. Only person who breaks the fourth wall. Same way John Belushi did in Animal House. Who's my favorite Spidey? Me. Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, or Tom Holland? Andrew Garfield. I like Tom Holland. But I think he's a little full of himself and kind of overrated. <laughs> hey, it's just an opinion. Don't get all nasty with me. Ah, uh, let me get back to this. I've been completely thrown. All right, this goes out to Brandon. B-R-A-N-D-O-N. Brandon or Brandon. I don't condone it, but I do brandon it. How about a donut? What about we need a receipt for a donut? Yeah. I don't need a receipt for a donut. That transaction is complete. I cannot imagine a scenario where I would need a receipt to prove that I bought a donut and ate it.
I like the Spider-Man from the 1960s series as well. I used to watch reruns of it growing up in the 70s. Mm -hmm. Artemis has come up with something clever. Arson is bad. Or so says my lawyer. That is funny. Now, is that, is that a Mitch Hedberg line? Arson is, or is it a Stephen Wright line? They were both deadpan comedians. Or is it your line? It sounds like a Mitch thing, for sure. It does sound like Mitch Hedberg. Arson is bad. Or so says my lawyer. Or arson is bad. Or so says my lawyer. Okay. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon of the sea. I'm in the flow here, kids, folks, people. This is insane. There's no room, Brandon. I love you, but come on now. <laughs> I gotta redo this thing. It's just, it's, 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 it's there's so, too much. Mm, nothing personal, mind you. Thank you. Favorite Beatle? That's, that's a tough question. Depends on what year. I mean, it's really difficult. I had different favorite Beatles, Beatles growing up. Beatle Paul, from the beginning of the Beatles, till about 1966. Mm -hmm. John, in the late 70s, no, John, John after the Beatles. And with, you know, his stage presence and performance. Um, George, as we got to know him, as the insightful spiritual individual. And funny guy, because he was very clever and funny with his lyrics. Artemis is funny. Quentin is a Ringo guy. I enjoy Ringo. No, no. Change it. Zanorius, who must be Brandon. Don't worry about it. I will make it work. I will make it work. Do not suffer. Do not worry. I will make it work. I did see that Ringo Starr and his all-star band a few times. And they were great shows. But Ringo does two or three songs, you know. Always sounds the same. They're gonna put me in the movies. They're gonna make a big star out of me. And an octopus's garden in the shade. Peace and love, peace and love, everybody say. We're singing Christmas songs on this holiday. I'm Ringo Starr, Ringo Starr. What am I to do? I'm waving at new people coming in from me to you. Back to Brandon. You kidding?
<laughs> I've done it. <laughs> You've driven me crazy. <laughs> Over the top. <laughs> but I've finished it. I've completed it. I've made it work. I've brought it all together. Wouldn't it be good if somebody could edit this live stream together when I'm signing that stuff and then just segue into me coming back? Maybe not. Maybe you like the anticipation. Plus, it gives you an opportunity to speak to one another and get to know one another. Brandon, you kidding? Do you know how popular I am? I got loads of people rooting for me. Sorry, boss. No one acts as Axel. Got it memorized. XO Quinton Flynn. XO Quinton Flynn. It is the finished product. Oh my. oh my. Beauteous Maximus. To infinity and beyond. I played Santa Claus. And I'm not Santa Claus. I'm actually from Detroit. I'm a stand-up comedian turned actor. But I was also in Toy Story. Oh, here's another one to Brandon. Is it the same Brandon? It may be. The puppets. I pull their strings. Then they dance. They dance, they dance, they dance. Brandon. Your head almost came off on that one, love. <laughs> the puppets, I pull their strings. And then they dance, they dance, they dance. Do you dance? Are you any, any dancers out there? Any hoofers? What's my favorite line from Jin? I just read it. No, happiness is a warm gun. Nice, Brandon. Fire. Fire, fire. <laughs> fire, fire. Shut up, Beavis. <laughs> My name is Cornholio. He TP for my bunkhole. <laughs> Shut up, asswipe. <laughs> this one goes out to Luis Lugardo. I don't know if you're here, but I will write for you anyway. Luis Lugardo, can you add this quote? Pain. This is why I live. This is my normal. This is my nature. Luis Lugardo. Hello, Sketchy Chan 777. Is this live getting saved? Someone is asking. It should be. QF characters are having a podcast. Yes, they are. Is that a suggestion or is that what you believe is happening now? I think they all agree that we are. Quentin noticed I mentioned when I was seeing a thing with Richard Epcar and Rob Ben Atkinson Downs, I think. Speaking of other co-stars. Yes, I've, I've worked with them before. Both of them. I know Richard better than Robin. God bless you. Sketchy. Sketchy on 777. Thank you. What do you think is happening now? You are correct. And B. Dan McKay joined. Hello, Wave. I'm waving. I'm signing right now. This is what I'm signing. 
You will see what it says when I say it just before, not after. What? Right on time. <laughs> Catch up. Luis Lugardo. Love that name. It flows. This is why I live. My name is Cleveland. Payne. This is why I live. This is my normal. This is my nature. Hey, this is why I live. This is my normal. And this is my nature. Does that work? If you look at the bottom where I signed it. Yeah. You okay with it? Um, and then unless anyone buys any more while you're still here, that's it. Wow. Unless anyone buys any more while we're still here. That is it. Oh, another one just came in. Boom, boom, boom. Another one bites the dust. Shut up, Davis. I'm not, a, I'm not a performing monkey, you know. You can't ask me or tell me what to do. If you want me to do it, you can pay me. You should make short videos of your characters crossing over like how Robin Atkin Downs does. I don't know what Robin Atkin Downs does. Because I don't follow Robin Atkin Downs. So I don't even know what you're talking about. Amanda Panda Chan, slick. Riding is so neat. Uh, where I work, customers always come through the back door and it scares me and they just creep up on me and I wish I could say that. You just did. They shouldn't creep up on you. They should have the back door locked or put a bell on it. That's my suggestion, Caroline. Dot Elizabeth, see if you can put a bell on it. Really, you know. Pample Moose underscore bitch joined. Pample Moose underscore bitch. Aqua, I've met one of your co-stars from Kingdom Hearts last September at the convention, and his name is James Patrick Stewart. I know James. I used to see James regularly. I haven't seen James in years. I trust he was pleasant. He is a dignified gentleman. I'm sure he was nice to you. Um, I didn't know he was in Kingdom Hearts. What character does he play? Did you know that he has a famous father who is part of a duo from the 60s? Mm. No, I know Bogwa Juan de Aman. I know who Robin Atkins Downs is. I know him as a person. I know him as an actor. I know who he voiced in No More Heroes. What I'm telling you is, let me be clear. I don't follow him. I don't know what he's doing with those scenes. Do you understand? Am I making it clear? What we have here is a failure to c c communicate. 
Which character would you, you voiced, would you say gave you the most inspiration? Well, well, well I don't know. Hmm. I, you know what, I find inspiration in voicing the characters, in the moments from, the moments. It's, a hard, it's hard to explain. Uh, perhaps Ryden. Um, and Quentin, I think Bog was saying something like Robin's characters, even though his characters are in different pieces of worlds, they talk with each other kind of as an idea. Oh, oh, so he takes his characters from different worlds and he, he, has, he cuts them, he edits them together so they have conversations with each other. I think that's wonderful. I won't be doing that anytime soon, but thank you. I do what I do. This is what I do. He don't do what I do. He can't finesse, fly, improv, improvise, sing stylistically like I do. Do the impressions that I do. That's what I do. Hi from Cleveland, Ohio. Pamplemouse underscore bitch. Yeah. He voiced Zigbar. That's James Patrick Stewart. You'd have to send me a picture. I can't remember Zigbar. So many characters, so many series, games, cartoons, commercials, promos, so narration, so many. Do I have any quick tips to get into act, to voice acting? Yes, pay someone a lot of money. That won't even work. Uh, there is no quick way. Uh, go to IWantToBeAVoiceActor.com. That's a legitimate website that gives information for you. The beginner, the intermediate, the advanced, and the veteran level like me. Suggestions are all there. Hi from GA, I assume that's Georgia. Or Bragg. Right, my bad. All right, that's okay, buddy. Uh, last year at San Francisco Fan Expo, or whatever SF Fan Expo is, I met your Kingdom Hearts co-stars. Will Friedle, Roger Craig Smith, and especially Disney legend Pedro Hara. Not to mention your Digimon co-star, Steve Bloom. Love Steve, know him very well. Wonderful guy. Uh, Roger and I, uh, we've been, been in some conventions together, nice fella. Um, the other two I have not met, but I'm sure they're lovely. Eric Davis is you. No, Eric Davis is you. Quentin, I was just playing Kingdom Hearts when you just went live. That's cool, dude. Now, anybody, there is Streamly.com slash Quentin Flynn. If you want to print, you can go there and order it right now. If you go to that website, someone just did, and I'm going to sign it now in front of you live. This came in. They, Eric wants this. Eric with a K, E-R-I-K. Guess what? No special instructions. Eric, thank you. You rock. The rest of you rock as well. Not to leave you out. I got my name from Ryden. Thank you so much for your work. There you go. You're welcome. I thank you. Go use the bathroom real quick. You do that and I'll be here. <laughs> I tried to keep the back door closed and the sales manager came by and said, yeah, the boss has a funny... Thing of keeping this door open. Oddly there, enough, there's a giant, more obvious garage door to the side, rear, front. Well, talk to the sales manager, Caroline.Elizabeth, if you haven't already, and say how much it frightens you when someone comes in from behind. Also, you write this down, loss prevention. People could come in the back door when it's open and steal, depending on what it is you have to offer. I, I don't know if they're, pr pr the product is too large to get out of there or if you don't have anything on hand. Um, it's just not safe. I understand keeping the door open, perhaps because of a fire hazard, but two more ideas. I've given you one, two, I'm going to repeat it. Suggest a bell, all right, ringing on the door so that when somebody comes in, 
you hear it ringing. Here's another one. This will be number three. This one's pretty fabulous. Suggest getting a floor mat that when you step on it, it triggers an, a, 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 a sound. I don't know if it's electric, battery. I don't make these things, but they must exist. Um, again, anything that can let you know who's coming up from behind you. It's not safe. It's just not safe. But again, I'm not the boss and it's not my store. Um, yes, I love Colleen. She's great. Tell her I said hi next time you speak to her. Shop that is used to entering, but they always come in the back. Right, we, we've just covered that. And I've given you loads of solutions. I hope you're writing them down. Otherwise, I, I can't help you. Uh, you should probably go shower or you'll be right back, y'all. Okay. I'm signing this new print for Eric, E-R-I-K. Let me push this up and away. Let's welcome M Weeks 57 with a wave because they waved. Tandos are 17. Joined. Started following you. I can't pronounce it. All right, this one goes to Eric and it's riding. that that's hot literally and figuratively because there's flames get it <laughs> for eric let her rip get it see it hot hot rocking <clears throat> That is hot off the presses, folks, because it just came in. It was a brand new request from his end to Streamly, to me. It's not too late to order Tandozer 17 if you go to Streamly.com backslash Quentin Flynn. Go purchase, and I'll hang out for a little while, and I will happily sign for you. Oh, I have another one, another another new one. Oh my God, I have a headache. I'm... Is there any ch 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 chance you could get some headache tablets, you know, pain reliever? I gave you some. Oh, you did, you are so good. I forgot <laughs> you about didn't them. Take them. No, I was signing something. There's another one under your phone. Hmm, hiding. Yes, it's hiding. Higgity hoo. It's hiding too. Oh, yuck, oh, yuck, oh, yuck, oh, yuck. Well, I'm goofy. Sure enough. <laughs> I am Mickey Mouse. I actually was Mickey Mouse for a short period of time. I don't know why my agents didn't pursue it. They should have. But they didn't. Things happen that way. It's all business, baby, show business. Sammy. We went to a unit at the bottom of a building and the rest of the village. Laundry room with a border dividing the shop and the laundry room. For context, the laundry room is for the people who live on the boats in the marina. Where are you, in Florida? He said marina. Thinking Florida? Or California? For more context, I work in a souvenir shop for a harbor tour company. Harbor tour company. Again, I'm thinking West Coast, Southern California, or somewhere in Florida. You're giving us a lot of information. Ch 
Charleston, South Carolina. That was my third guess. I've heard it's lovely there. In the Carolinas, the Norths and the Souths. Who do we got here? <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> it's Reno from Final Fantasy. I'm still out here, Advent Children. This goes out to Megan. It says, anything you want, Q-Man, I trust you. Well, thank you, Megan. It's very kind, very sweet. Megan, Megan, queen of the sea. Megan, Megan. I can't use silver on the sky. Megan, you, I'm sure you're out there. The same line keeps... Oh, my cousin. Oh, my cousin. Bernie, how are you, love? I wonder if you're in Dublin or if you're somewhere else. Uh, a, a belated Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you, my dear cousin. Um, I miss you. I miss you. We will have to speak um, so soon. Um, so, Megan, if you're out there, all I've got coming to my head is uh, I'm still out here, which, you know, that hits me all the time with Reno. <clears throat> but of course I could write something else. Whatever you like. AS in the house. What's up, buddy? I miss your face, man. How are you? Andre. Andre is in the house. This man is so talented. You do not know. He and I worked on a, uh, a commercial job together in a big studio, Universal, I think, uh, a while ago. For two characters, we were voicing uh, the cartoon in nature. It was crazy. Back lot, uh, Universal, yes, because I saw Shark Head from the Jaws, if you know. Reno, never mind. Uh, good for you. Hey, dude. What's up? Just the sauce joined. What's up, just the sauce? Or is it Joe? Stow the sauce. Hey, Joe, stow the sauce. You got it? Somewhere over the rainbow. Way up high, there's a place that I long for once in a lullaby. Hi, Megan, I see you there. So, do you have anything in particular? If you, I know you said you trust me, but I don't know what to write there. I'll come up with something. Why am I putting the pressure on you? I met you at this church. You were singing on stage. Well, tell me, which church? Was it in Long Island? J just the sauce? Because I did a show in Long Island years ago, and someone brought me to church there. A couple people did. And there were some wonderful singers there, brilliant singers. Maybe you were one. Please do more Broadway stuff. Look at that. How cool is that? I don't have the church memorized. That's a joke, because Axel says got it memorized. I don't recall the name of the church. Yes, it was in East Meadow, because I did a, uh, a appearance at the East Meadow Public Library. And uh, the woman in charge was fantastic, well-organized, had a great time doing that, wonderful um, audience with rapt attention. Um, Christ Alive Church, that's what it was. I remember thinking I wish I lived there because it was so beautiful and inclusive and easy, wonderful and loving. My heart was touched. My mind was open. Um, it was the most comfortable I'd been in any church and I've been to loads all over. <laughs> you don't go there. That's right, you don't. You just sing there. 
Well, heck, do you tour? Tell us more. We all want to know. What's my favorite movie, Bond of the Ten uh, Flames asks? My favorite movie. You know, I, 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 oh, God is good. You're right. He does that. Oh, you don't attend that church anymore or any less. No, anymore. Um, well, I say my favorite movie to whittle it down would be Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. But it's hard to have just one movie. I also love Young Frankenstein and Blazing Saddles. And all three of them happen to have, three of them happen to have Gene Wilder in them. I love Gene Wilder. He's wonderful. You're going to bed. Good night, Quinton and Chat. Well, good night. Bond of the Flame. James Bond. I like the James Bond series as well. You used to attend the church for years, but you had to leave. Sorry to hear that. But enough about me. Are you still in Long Island? I have a dear friend who's back there. He's from there. He was just there. He's coming back to California. And then in a, sometime in the spring, I think, or the fall, he's going to be moving back there. Remember when I told you about that fact on me with a play of Willy Wonka? I'd like to say I do, but I don't. Don't hate me. The Milo drink joined. And I waved. Q, I hope to meet you one day soon. Yes. You're still from the meadow. That's nice. I wish I could get out there for a show or something. I don't even know if they're doing shows. What's my favorite color? Yours is purple. Mine is blue. Blazing Saddles is such a classic. Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. All right. Here we go. This is going out to Megan. I have to phone a friend. Hold on. Um, you know how you say like someone is fairer. Like, is there another as fair? Is mm -hmm. fair F A I R? Mm -hmm. I would think so. Yeah. Not like a fair when you're getting on a trolley. F A R E. Right. Is there another as fair? There we go. That makes. I'm gonna make this one look special. special. This is the first time, people, you're seeing something like this. And I think it's a good idea I'm gonna implement in the future. Isn't that cool? Mm hmm. Well, you only put the quotes at the end. Mm -hmm. I, you mean, oh, I didn't. You mean, oh, I know you're right. I did. Thank you. So weird. No wonder it looked weird to me. Mm -hmm. All right, this one goes out to Megan from Reno. Look at this two sided. This is a first. And, and what it says is, is there another is fair? See that? The name and the person. Get it? Feel free to give a round of applause. Anything else? Or is there still some coming in maybe? This is the last one. Um, it's not for anybody, no quote. Is there a paper with it? Uh, I'm going to print it now. Okay. Well, this one just came in. Just purchased probably by someone who was just asking about it. 
and um, they didn't ask for any particular, um, what do you call it? Nothing particular as I'm signing and chatting with you. So, uh, have you seen the Maxers video on Metal Gear Rising? If you haven't, it's the main reason why on Cameo people ask you to say that's a nice argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? I've not seen that video. I've heard of it, though. I think I showed it to you. I saw it on TikTok. Oh, yes. Uh, we did see it on TikTok. Okay. Uh, let me do this one because it's Raiden. The hills are alive with the sound of music. When you see a gent paying all kinds of rent for a flat that could flatten the Taj Mahal, call it something. I call it funny, but it's better than even money. That the guy's always only doing it, doing it for some doll, some doll, some doll. The guy's only doing it for some doll. You got a wonderful compliment there. Uh, it says, Sam is a lovely assistant, heart and wifey. <laughs> Yes. Oh, my, yes. It says Kate. Thank you, Q-Man. I really appreciate more than you know. You are welcome. Do you think Raiden pranks anyone? Maybe in his world. Nice. If I do say so myself, and I do. This reminds me of Romper Room when I was a child. And I can actually say I see your names. What do you think of that? And actually, the the uh, ink has melted in, on this one, and it's gotten hot. It's cool. I am lightning, the rain transformed. You see it sizzling? I, I do. See it when I get up close? Yeah, the letters started sizzling on the heat. Feel the heat. Nothing pushing you to decide. Feel the heat. Burning your heart, ready or not. Some like it hot and some sweat when the heat is on. Some feel the heat and decide that they can't go on. That's so fire. <laughs> fire, 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 fire. Shut up, Bevis. <laughs> my name is Cornholio. Need TP for my bunghole. Shut up, asswipe. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of the Disney VAs are. You had Power Station on cassette, Kate? I think, I don't know if I did or not. I definitely had it on LP because back then we would uh, hmm, try to record certain songs from my 
band to cover. But what an album, right? So good. Sonic or some other series VAs? It's no use! Yes, I had a rabid moment. Rapidly rabid. Here, there we go. How's that? Ha oh, ha I'm Doc Brown. I'm Doc Brown's son. I'm Doc Brown Jr. They should put me in the movies doing Doc Brown. Uh, uh, back to the future, in the future. Oh, Marty, where are we going to go? We've got to do something. Oh, I'll put my glasses back on so I can see what you're saying. Most of my characters are associated with fire. Is that my signature element and personality trait? Some might say. I wouldn't, but some might say. Look, Nicholas Cage, what do you mean? Uh, he might be on fire, but I played Ghost Rider, speaking of Marvel. I also played Superman. Not that anybody saw it, because it didn't fly. But I was Ghost Rider. I was Ghost Rider! Ghost Riders in the sky. Yippee-yay, yippee-yay-yo, we ghost riders in, ghost riders in the sky. Yippee-yay, yippee-yay-yo, we. Here's what I'm going to do. Let me see if this works. I have to put the, how far back do I have to put this? Oh, I know what I'll do. I'm going to turn this on its side without making it spill. Hello, Emperor Darkon. Just a couple of minutes. You should talk like Raiden. Why? I have been talking like Raiden for over an hour now. Maybe more. Actually, almost two hours. You left for a bit to check out that cartoon hookups bit. There is actually, I should have told you this, Artemis, there is a also, a best of compilation of Deadpool. Granted, there's a whole lot of other characters and it's not all about moi, but just so you know. You think you found my element? You might have found my element. I don't know. Um, I uh, am born a Libra. Scales. Wait, scales, trying to de determine what to do. It's very difficult with the Libran brain because I go back and forth all the time. Um, nice. What's nice? Here's what I'm going to do. Let's see. What am I going to do? There's just something about Scooter's Coffee. Is Libra air Artemis? Is that true? I didn't know Libra was air. It's an air sign. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you add fire to oxygen. That's bad. You want to hear a great song? Look up. Oh, Zatch Bell. You've been, you've been watching that? Dr. Riddles. Kiddo. Kidding. I'm Victor Reem. A man shaped in a giant V who loves to sing about melons. It's true. What's it called? Uh, solid snakefish joined. I'm sorry, I tried to say hi to you. Um, what do you call it? Uh, I'm... Let's see. Very Melon. Yeah, it's very bizarre. If, if you've seen it, you know it. But those are the two characters I play. Victorim and Dr. 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 Riddles. He likes to make funny riddles and puns and busts the chops of kiddo. Yes, we like the Browns. Of course we like the Browns. We wish they would win. Um, hey, fellas, join. Hi. My name is Cleveland. Bernie, my date is my 1010, darling. October 10th. And you are the 23rd. Yes, Libra is the scales. And if you're the 23rd of October, are you still a Libra or are you a different sign? Oh. Here's to a great weekend, Quentin. Adam the Filippi. 
He's a great uh, man of information and ventriloquism. Currently, we're playing the Kingdom Hearts series. Excellent. I see two fishes. I think, Bog, you must be Pisces, unless I got that wrong. Unless those were the twins. Do I like voice, voicing Raiden? Now it's time for Jack to let her rip. Yes, I do like voicing Raiden. If Silver the Hedgehog was in the Sonic Live Action movie, I hope you're voice Silver in the movie. Me too. 1010, Artemis says, several important people in my life share that day with you. I wish I knew them. I don't know any other 1010s in my life. I know John Lennon was 10-9. And David Lee Roth was 10-10. Uh, well, this has been fun. Much love to you, Quentin. I hope you have a great night. We'll join the next live. I need to sleep for work tomorrow at 8 a.m. Well, you sleep well, and I hope they do something about that back door with a bell or a noise so it doesn't freak you out. Bernie, you're on the cusp. Some papers, you're a Libra. Some papers, you're a Scorpio. Do you... Go, go back and forth and vacillate a bit like like your, like your dear cousin here in the States. The shows are pretty nifty. We have a, a thumbs up from Artemis underscore the underscore moon. That cartoon hookups on YouTube. Pretty good. Pretty nifty, she said. I play Deadpool in a bunch of them. There is a collection of my Deadpool episode guest spots. Some I had written. Uh, it's a little edgy. I would say 18 plus NSFW. Well, thank you. So cool to be seen live. Some have suggested I do this more often, and, and I will. Just so you know, at this point, what's it say? I am on January 8th. I share my birthday with Elvis Presley and David Bowie. Wow, you win. Amanda Chan. Amanda Panda Chan. So sad to hear about Lisa Marie passing. No gremlins in here. LOL. Oh, Gem Geminis. It's, it's my eyes. <laughs> I like gremlins better. You gotta leave, Funko. That's cool. Yes, definitely 18 plus. Speaking of YouTubes and things, I, you, I followed your Twitch. You followed my Twitch? I don't have a Twitch yet, but I do have a tree. So Twitch is probably on my tree. So we will see. Ash art, Ash underscore art. Can you chat with me live? Uh, where, where are you, where are you coming in from? What would you like to chat about? I am now invoking a screening process because in the past I haven't done that, and sometimes I've had some problems. Kelsey. Kesley. Oh, you're from Ohio. Okay. What? Do we know each other? Have we met before online or in person at one of those Ohio conventions? I did one in Sandusky, and then I did one at the college there in the Willoughby, Mentor, Willoughby area. To see how you're doing and Zatch Bell. I'm doing all right. I haven't been doing Zatch Bell for years. We have met. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I need to take a break. A&G Ohio. That was at the college, right? <laughs> I'm going to put this up here for a moment. And I want you to guess what kind of tea is in it. While I take a break, I don't have a hat to put on top. I can always do this. <laughs> Maybe I should do this? No, I shouldn't do that. I like the, this tea idea better. I shall big talk. Oh, Cincinnati? No, oh, you're from Cincinnati, but we never met in Cincinnati. Oh, Luis, or Louis, you're very welcome. I hope you saw it. I'm glad you did. If you didn't, it shall be up. 
I'm, I'm going to take a break for a moment, people. So just hang in there. I shan't be gone too very long, and we shall chat some more. But if you have to leave the room, make sure you close the door. And if you're not coming back, lock it on your way out to keep us safe inside from those on the other side who are out. Needs editing. Pretty good. You're right, Bernie. You're right, Barney, love a toast, Tay. Tay, Tay, Tay. Mwah. I'll be right back. Uh, give me a minute, okay? Ponder. Right. Come up with some questions. You fixed the clock in the bedroom. I did? I, unless it fixed itself. No, I didn't touch it. Yeah, that's funny because I didn't either. No. I'm back. I should have checked to see how many of you were here <clears throat> when I left. Thank you for waiting around and staring at the iced tea. Oh, I pronounced your name perfectly? Jolu.travels. I don't know whichever one I did. I wonder if Jeff is still here. I'll just wave at him in case he is. Jeff came, you came at a funny time when I went to take a break and I left the iced tea in my stead. Hey man, it's art. Hey man, it's all art. Uh... Besides having the crazies as Bart, I don't know what that means. Your genetic disorder. What is Bart? Is that short for the Bay Area Rapid Transit? Of course it is. I have a brother that's, he shortened his name from Bartley to Bart. 
My name is Cleveland here. Mm, doing okay? Someone's dabbing dinner after work. Oh, like, like, yeah, talk to each other. Uh, how's everybody doing? Uh, so I, I know David Hader. I just haven't seen him in a long time. But I will be at a convention later this year. Oh, you have a birthday with Gary Oldman, James Gordon. Oh, I mean, he played him. Matthew Broderick as Simba, the lion. James Broderick. Matthew, you mean, Ma yes, Matthew Broderick, whose father was James Broderick. He was an actor first. All right, what did I miss? Let's see him. Picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up. Welcome back, Cotter. Welcome back. Your dreams are your ticket out. Welcome back to that same old place that we laughed about. Now the dreams have all changed since we hung around. But those dreams, they remain and we turned around. Ooh, the thought we made ya. Back here where we need ya. Yeah. We need him a lot, cause we got him on the spot. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Mbaku-chan. What do we have? Oh God, there's a series of questions. But maybe you've seen them, right? Hmm. Have I ever played Metal Gear Solid 2? No. Am I going to Dragon Con this year? Not that I'm aware of. What's my favorite Disney movie? Ah, that's a tough one. I like bed knobs and broomsticks. How about you? I also like the computer war tennis shoes. Uh, I like the Flubber movies. <laughs> I My favorite animated one, well, there's two of them. The Jungle Book and The Emperor... Got a new groove. Thanks to Sam. <laughs> Sam? What are the chances of me coming back to SAC Anime in September? Well, I don't know. Ask them. Has the late, last batch of prints you signed before Christmas been sent back to Streamly as I still haven't received it? They are en route, as far as I understand. Jolu Travels. Not a question, but I just want to say thank you for being the voice of my childhood from Metal Gear Solid 2 Kingdom Hearts series and Final Fantasy X. I mean, 10. Just a few of my personal faves. Thank you, you rock. Not really a question, but I didn't get to put in the special instructions, but hello from a fellow Ohioan. Oh, you didn't. See, I only saw that now, now Logan. I'm sorry. That's why I... But I think you liked what I... I'm pretty sure you liked what I r said, wrote. Uh, I don't know if I can see if he's still on. He might not even be on. He did thank me, so I'm pretty sure he was satisfied. So much going on. Pamplemousse underscore bitch. Rachel. What part of Ohio are you from, Rachel? We have uh, you and we have uh, Jordan, who are both Ohioans. Just dot sweaty. <laughs> Kylie Sue. That is a funny name. How you doing? Just sweaty. Ruby dot al Almagar 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 Sorry. Ooh You're in Lakewood. I wanted to go to Lakewood the last time I was in Cleveland. Actually, last summer, when there was more time. Um, yeah, I want to check it out. I hear it's great. Um, we have a Lakewood. We have a Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon further south. Lakewood, um, closer to Cleveland, closer to where I grew up. I was born in Cleveland. I lived in Cleveland Heights for a few years as a child. At the age of three, the family moved us to Mayfield Village. But I would like to know more about Lakewood at some point. 
Um, all good. How are you, Quentin? Ruby? I'm doing all right. I know that song, Ruby. Uh, well, there's a couple of songs. Ruby, 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 Ruby. Ah, do you, do you, do you, do you, do you? Kaiser Chiefs, if you know who they are. Look it up. It's a good groove. Better than what I, you know, just laid down for it. Ruby, 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 Ruby. Then there's also uh, Kenny Rogers, and the first edition in the 60s had Ruby, Don't Take Your Love to Town. Hello, sir. Phil Philip Wilburn, ladies and gentlemen. Another fine actor and impressionist like myself. Fantastic. I'm glad to see you. Happy New Year. I hope you are well. I miss your face. How are you? Uh, what's my favorite Disney movie? Jungle Book. We already covered that. Allie loves that song. Okay, I did it well enough that you got it. There's also, uh, Oh, Ruby, don't take your love to town. Look them up, Ruby. You're going to be thrilled. You're going to be thrilled, I say. You're hungry, you know what? Yeah, we should get some food. You want me to get some sushi? Uh... Yeah, that's fine, sure. I'll get you some soup. I'm going to bring some people on because I have had some requests to do so. The heck is this button? Jordan from Mount Vernon, Ohio, I'm going to accept. And, um, you know, oh, Ruby says, I'll have to hear it. Ruby Baby by Dion. I don't know that one. But I know who Dion and the Belmonts are. Who taught you about that? Well, we're, we're not going to get off soon, Phil. But... Um, if you want to hang around, say hello, and jump on after I talk to the next pat person, cool. If not, another time, man. I will enjoy some food. Um, uh, what was I going to say? So, look at Phil's picture. Isn't that awesome? He's got like a little, little side smirk. The very uh, leading man, debonair, with just a hint of a smirk. That tells you he's got something up his sleeve. I'm looking at all of your pictures here. Uh, and Ruby, for you to know Dion and the Belmonts, I'm guessing one of your parents must have turned you on to that. Maybe they named you after that. Kylie Sue, too. In Lakewood, Detroit, and Madison, our streets check out lots of shops and restaurants. All right. What do you do there? Do you work? Do you go to school? Did you grow up there? So many questions. Let's bring on Jordan for a few moments. Some questions for me? No, I've got some questions for you. Why did that not work? Let's try it again. I'll try it. Accept. There we go. Quinn! Hi, Good to see you, bud. How are you, pal? How? Oh, I'm fine. Um, your good friend, uh, who I'm also oh, with it. on Facebook, Hadley K. Oh, hi, Hadley. Um, he says hello as years. well. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, he's been my, he was in my favorite movie, the uh, Care Bears movie, is one of the bad guys. And he's been he's my good, best friend on Facebook for man. years. And he told me, yeah, he told me about you. Um, I got my little replica. That's of awesome. Red book here. And um, I'm a big Zatch Bell fan, which is how I found out who you were, because I owned the, I loved Zatch Bell because I'm I'm also a big Harry Potter fan, and they considered right. it Harry Potter meets Pokemon because of all the use of the spell books. And I had the game, and I always played you as Doctor Riddles and Kiddo because you were one of the strongest characters, and of course Victory, Victory, which was my Ooh. favorite one, and then. When I did, very melon. Yeah, very yes. melon. And oh yeah, and uh, that's what I was wanting to chat with you here of what I just recently saw. Um, yeah, the creator yeah. Makoto Raiku. He just recently. Uh, well, first off, he create. He just now made a Zatch Bell sequel called Zatch Bell Two, that's currently with two volumes, and it takes place seven years after the original story. And it's been hinted that Dr. Riddles and Victorine both will return. They've had a cameo in it. But 
The thing that I liked the best, though, was Makoto Raiku, he re-released Zatch Bell, and he had a um, little short story mm -hmm. called Zatch Cafe, where the Momoto would, like, um, they would socialize at a cafe, and they would have a food order. And my favorite story was Victorine and Layla, who was played by Kate Higgins, the um, the girl with the moon sure. girl that had the horns and the purple hair. And um, Victorine and Layla are sitting down. Victorine has an order completely made of melon, yeah. which is to expect from him. And Layla has like these little... Um, Mm -hmm. like cocoa crispy rice cakes and stuff and their servers are their partners Mo mohawk ace and albert and mohawk ace who was played by um jason spizak even though he did like he would just go my god and stuff like that his spells um and i've spoken to, oh. Jay to oh. jason spizak he loved that role um and um, there, and we actually get to hear Mohawk Ace talk you have a question? for the first time. And what happens? Yeah. And like, what happens is, um, mm. Le uh, Victorine and Layla, they're talking about the previous battle because yeah. they were Momoto yeah. from a thousand years ago. They were mm -hmm. they were turned to stone by Goran, and they actually met each other all the time when they were in the previous battle, Layla and Victorine. And we actually get to see Victorine's previous partner, who was a Japanese woman. And we get to see Layla's partner. And we see them fight a, um, a Viking because they're, that was, um, had a Momoto partner as well. And that's when we finally hear Mohawk Ace talk. And he says, did you guys win? And they were like, yeah. And then this is where it really gets touching you know Layla is kind of annoyed by Victorine like you were always a nuisance every time we ran into each other and then Victorine says don't be that way when I heard that you were turned to stone I challenged her into a fight and, she's ungrateful yeah, then, let's be honest well, most yeah, women well, are ungrateful huh? <laughs> that's a joke listen yeah, I really then need Layla you to ask me a gets... question you're telling me a lot of backstory <laughs> what's your question oh Sorry. So, uh, my question is, um, um, yeah, how did, how, what did you like the most? What I liked the most was though? working with director Jeff Nimoy, who is actually a cousin of Leonard Nimoy. And Jeff okay. is hilarious and brilliant. He's a great writer. Uh, he created and produced and starred in a movie uh, called, uh, oh my God, what is it? Famish, exactly. Famish. With kind of an I, I, I S H. I'm yeah, sorry? Lex Lang's in that too. Lex Correct. Lang and Brian Donovan are in Have that. Have you seen it? And too. did you like it? Oh, yeah, I did. And Jeff Nimoy is actually uh, following me on Twitter because I showed so much appreciation for Zatch Bell. I mean, I was like one of the only Zatch Bell super fans out there. He wrote a blog after I started talking talking to him saying, you know, I hated Zatch Bell. I didn't think it was artistic. It was nothing compared to Digimon. And then he was like, after I heard from you, you know, I remembered all these good memories I had. And yeah, you know, I was like, you know, I was, I was like the biggest Zatch Bell supporter ever because I just, I just fell in love with it immediately. And your Dr. characters, Riddle. mostly Dr. Riddles, who I now was. Resemble oh, yes. The with I, just I know. And hopefully, uh, it's been, like I said, it's been hinted he's going to come back in the manga sequel because yeah. they've, shown, they've shown him. And, and well, he was they, also in the uh, Zatch Cafe. In, uh, Los Kiddo Angeles, uh, then there is a good chance of me coming back. Yeah. Oh, definitely, especially for Zatch Bell too, because um, it's getting it's picking up steam, and we've been t asking um, Netflix to it, believe it or not. No, um, oh, I Zatch believe Bell it. Never I believe it because otherwise we wouldn't be talking about it. They, sure. they, uh, it was and, yeah, because um, Jeff go actually it. confirmed with me. Uh, pick up. It was just cheaper to go pick it up. Okay, you got everything you need. Okay. I I gotta let you go, buddy. 
Thank you so much. Ciao for now. Okay. Peace out. Peace, bud. Oh, wait, I'm on. How do I get you? Oh, oh no, my God. How do I click? You log out. Okay. I guess I'll, I'll get going. Log out. Thank you for me, for you. Uh, it's hard having people on when I don't know the technology. But I do have some questions here. Uh, ever played Metal Gear Solid 2? No. Uh, no, I did not. What's the next question? Come on, bring it. Are you going to Dragon Con? I'd love to, but I don't think I am. Sorry, not this year. What would you wish for if you had three wishes? The Dark Knight asks me. Oh, dear Lord. Uh, peace of mind, clarity, and the ability to achieve all that I wish for. That includes helping others, being loving, being kind, getting things accomplished. Now we have a question from, if she's still here, uh, just dot sweaty. If you don't mind, could you say, got it memorized, Kelsey, for my twin sister? If not totally understand, you made our childhood awesome. I can do that. This is for Kelsey. Okay. Got it memorized, Kelsey? Got it memorized, Kelsey? Hey, Kelsey, got it memorized? Thanks for asking. Next question. Chances of you coming back to Tech Anime in September? We covered that one. Don't know? Ask, and I will be returned. No, yes. Ask, and I will come back. Uh, not a question, but I wanted to thank you you for being the voice of my childhood for Metal Gear Solid 2. Oh, I did read that. Thank you, Jolu Dot Travels. Uh, uh, Logan, a, a fellow Ohioan as well. David Disney. Uh, okay, good. But I, I answered all the rest of these. And Andrea, Luis, Kylie, back to the top. Seeing Robin, good. Hersham, good. Philip, good. Kate, good. Rocky, Rima, Sur, good. And Mac, good. So I think we've done about two hours plus. Um, we signed. Oh, you can't hear anything? That's weird. Oh, that's. I guess when I, I was muted. Let's see, now, I was muted, no, I'm not. Um, so I was reading all of the names of the people here. Oh, now I see it. There's no audio on Quentin. Oh no, is audio on for you? <laughs> oh dear Lord. Um, you're welcome. You're welcome, uh, Kylie. Any Ohio cons this year? I don't know yet. Which country would I like to visit most someday? Italy. I haven't been to Italy yet. France. I've not been to France yet. I've been to loads of countries all over the world. But not, not that one. But not that one. Not those two, I should say. Not those two. What can I say? Um, hmm. What was the answer to your question? You had to leave. I don't know. What was your question, Mac? Mac attack. I don't have a favorite Digimon Data Squad episode, I'm afraid to say, to answer that question for you. Dylan just joined. So I'm going to hang for a little bit. 
while my missus is getting some food. I'm very hungry. What's my favorite Korea? South. Um, whew. Favorite live action remake for Disney? Uh, uh, maybe um, the one, uh, I think Lindsay Lohan was in it, where she played uh, twins. Parent Trap. The Parent Trap. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I loved it. I happen to know the actress who played the mother who was um, plotting to be their mother. Um, let's see, Phil, I'll try to... Uh, let's see. Philip, it says, Philip must upgrade app in order to join. That's a shame. That's so strange. This live stream has been the best you've experienced so far. Oh, that's, that's so kind of you to say. I was singing before. Oh, God, I remember when I watched the remake of Parent Trap in theater class in junior or middle school. You said, oh, God, before it. Oh, God. Or, oh, God. Like, is it a good memory? Is it a bad memory? Okay, Phil. BRB. Any voice acting tips for someone who does have one thing on the resume? Does or doesn't? I don't know. Voice acting tips. Well, I say always be acting. Maybe join an improv group if you would like to try that. Go to the www.iwanttobeavoiceactor.com. It's a legitimate site. It will tell you what to do where to go and how to do it. If you are a beginner, intermediate, advanced, or veteran like myself, I think now I'm just going to like free, free, free flow, you know what I mean? I'm just going to like, like just do what I like here. Yeah, cause I say let it rip Andy in Ryden's voice for my boyfriend. I want to surprise him. And you know, I would love, but the thing is, uh, I have to, if I do that for you, I do it for everyone, and I have to charge for that. Go to my cameo, and I would do that and more. Let's see. Who's one of the, your favorite horror actresses, Mac, in that film? Elaine Hendricks was in it. Uh, and I know Elaine. She's great. It's a good movie. You should watch it again. I think, well, as you as you get older, you'll like it. You attended a live stream featuring original Parent Trap star Disney legend Haley Mills. It was the Pollyanna Diamond anniversary live stream. How was it? I'm going to assume it was good. Solid snake joint. Now it's time for you to let her rip, you bastard. Yeah, see, I snuck it in there. Try this again. Hey, nothing hey. like getting app shame. Huh? Nothing like getting app shame. <laughs> Isn't that a drag? I couldn't believe it. I went, what? Oh, that's How funny. Are you, buddy? are you at oh, work? Oh, my gosh. I'm so jealous of your hair. It's so great. It's fantastic. Oh, thank you, man. I mean, yeah. I had some really, I had some re really good um, pandemic hair at one point, and um, I had to go to somebody else to cut my hair, and they thought my hair was parted this way and not that way, and they oh, cut no. all the long hair off, Ooh. and I was so mad. I was so mad, because I could just, it could go to the moon for a while, was it, but. Was it uh, somebody new who hadn't? It was somebody who had not cut my hair before. Oh boy. That's always the trick of the trade, when you, when you have to, when I had to go, it, you know what, it was for Anne's funeral. That's what it was. Uh, I had to get a haircut for that, and that's that is uh, that is what it was. But yeah, it was so funny. I was like, "No!" Yeah. But anyway, how are you, my friend? I'm okay. You know, it's it's a weird world, man. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, where where are you in the world? Right. 
Right now, I am in Lincoln, Nebraska. All right. And I was in Chicago last week. Uh, who, who knows where I'll be next week? How about yourself? It's a crazy deal. I'm, I'm here in my um, Burbank uh, Chateau. No. I mean, I'm yep. in beautiful downtown Burbank, you know, but uh, no, it's, it's great. It's great. Uh, I like your backdrop because it, it, it looks like you're at the studio. Oh, man. I, this is my cameo background, my friend. It's awesome. I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky. It's a physical thing. I'm like Kramer. I have a, a set in my house. Are you serious? So, serious? But when you do Trump, you can't do it in your apartment. You have to have something that looks legit, quite frankly. <laughs> so <laughs> It's amazing. Uh, I mean, because I know you. Uh, which network were you uh, were or are you working I for? I still work as a, my waiting tables job is I still am the weather producer at ABC7. That's and, uh, amazing. But, and but I just started. Um, uh, uh, I just um, we just it's it's still new and we haven't really announced it. But I'll tell you, we uh, we just started a production company and we're going to try oh. to do cartoons and movies and TV shows. And we had meetings with investors today. It's like I'm an adult now. It's crazy. So awesome. Anyway, well that's fantastic. But, Congratulations in advance. Yeah. And uh, well, congratulations on the meeting. Congratulations. This should take off. And uh, it's nice to be. I'm starting to feel like an adult as well. Uh, so I understand what you mean. It's we're, bizarre. We're, we're, it's, it's a little it's a little odd. It's a little odd. I don't like adulting, but it's I know right. it's for your brutal. viewers who don't know me just so because you, you do so many voices. Uh, my claim to fame is I was in a God on Lupin the Third and Android 19 and Dragon Ball Z, one of the most hated characters in all of Dragon Ball Z history. Is that hated right? character. What? To the point where they used to hide him in the video games. I used to get great money to go do a video game, but I would be a hidden character, so I would do six reacts or 12 reacts and like 12 lines, and then I'd take the check and go back, uh, and go back, drive, fly back to LA. So. <laughs> Wow. But, but Dragon Ball Z was all done in Texas. So yeah. it was all improv guys, all my Swayze. improv friends. You know John Swayze. Yeah. Uh, I don't know John Swayze, but I know Mike McFarlane, Mike McFarlane. and Chris Sabat yep. and all of those guys and Chris Rager and sure. all, Chris all Rager. of those guys were all my buddies from uh, in the world of, uh, uh, of Dragon Ball Z. But yeah, I always, uh, the fun thing was because Dragon Ball Z didn't have a lot of, uh, um, control, so quality control, I would say. Um, I played a lot of all the big characters were taken, so I got one major character, and then I was a bunch of other characters throughout the series. Guy working the shop, guy doing this, guy doing that. Sure. And I'd always do impressions. So i go, oh, there's one sumo wrestler in an episode of Dragon Ball that talks like Jonathan Winters. Nice! <laughs> Can we... Could you do it? Would you mind? Oh, it was just like, like oh, look at you. I could squash you. I could squash you like a bug. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant, man. You're the first and only Jonathan Winters I've ever heard. Oh, my gosh. Well, I love Jonathan. We both loved Robin. We both loved Jonathan. Yeah. Uh, my favorite Jonathan moment ever was a Jonathan and Robin moment. Was not on Morgan and Mindy, oddly enough. He was on Letterman one night, yeah. and and Jonathan was was plugging a book or something he had done, and Robin was doing Saturday Night Live, so he came down to Letterman's studio when he was at NBC, and they just started riffing, and Robin sat down beside Jonathan like this and went, Dad, Dad, have you signed the papers? <laughs> <laughs> And that was just so great. It was, on, it was just so great. That, and that was on Letterman. It was on Letterman, yeah. It was so amazing. Oh. Just a quick improv. And is all it on that, but YouTube? It, it is on YouTube. Look it up. It's great. It's great. I will. By the way, but you, don't, you I, don't know this, but you are getting a lot of love from people uh, digging your character. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, yeah. They're like, so cool. Uh, Dragon Ball. They're mentioning your name. Someone, uh, Max says, congrats, Philip. Uh, someone else said, what is it? What's your character's name? Android 19. He actually talks like this. Yeah. And is it is Zenigata? Was, Zenigata was my, uh, 
Lupin the Third character, and that was one of my favorite characters. That's what someone I ever did. Uh, re uh, referenced. Oh, nice, nice. And how does? But anyway, I I digress. But I just wanted to give your peeps some reason to go. This guy's wasting our time. No, never. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me, never. Oh my gosh. Can, well, when you get back to LA, yeah, uh, we will go and do stuff. And my uh, my new um, my new production company has an office at Sunset Gower. So we'll nice. have you over and we'll do commissary and all those things that you can do when you have your own when you have your own production company. So wow. it's very weird, but we'll see. Well if, if you're, Netflix doesn't take everything over. If, if what Netflix, right. Netflix is every other office around us is is I, I feel like it's gonna be Tetris pretty soon and we're gonna go, Oh Netflix, okay, we'll, we'll be over here. So <laughs> Wow. Well if, if you if you if you need writers, Phil I'm available. Oh, we're gonna need we're gonna need lots from you. Writers, friend. talents like yourself, you know, I do what you do. So I we'll love be doing to all the stuff. You. We've got some good impression uh, oriented things coming out that you'll get calls for. I'm very sure. Sweet. That, so. I'm also happy to chop wood and carry water. <laughs> That's how I'm getting the job done. That's all I'm doing. That's it, baby. But anyway, I love you. I just I love wanted you. to say hey to you. Oh, thank and, you. Uh, I'm Listen, gonna go find some food while you get food. I will. And let me just tell you, you've. Uh, I mean, suddenly, like fifteen or ten new people just rolled in. People are excited you're here. I'm excited you're here. You made my night. Ah, uh, well, you always make my day. You and I have a very uh, similar and very interesting history, and yes. our, our meeting through Ann Beats, one of our dear friends, was uh, a very. Um, you know, it, 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 you know, there's a, there's a reason we, we meet everybody on the road we go. And right. so I'm glad that we were meeting on the road, my friend. Me too. And I, I will give you a call actually before I come back and, and touch base. It's been too long. Yeah, We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. All right, brother. All right. Have thank a great night. And thank you all for saying nice things about me. And quickly, go I don't some, know if this, uh, let, me, let me ask you this one question to see if this will mean some, something to you. First of all, uh, this gentleman's a fan of yours. He says, Phil's the man, dude. And then uh, uh, another one says, Android versus Raiden would be a sweet, sweet fight. Uh, Philip, a man talented at screaming at people and wanting paper. <laughs> That's, that, could happen. that could be me. I'm not sure, but that, that's the, the one thing I will say. Who would win in a fight? Um, Android 19 always steals people's energy. So uh, Android 19 would steal their energy. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing that's sad about that, and you as a voice person would be was much more savvy than this than me. I picked a voice that I could not sustain to uh, uh, as my first voiceover character. Yeah, because that's what they wanted. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll do that. And then I had to do six episodes of it in games and things like that down the road. And I realized it was a very important lesson to never do a voice you can't do forever. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> but when it's your first voice, it's the first job I ever did. I you know, understand. You know, I did learn, the same you, thing. You have to learn it the hard way. You have to learn it the hard way. But I got it, buddy. But I'm well, very you look, infamous in that world. You, you are. So thanks, smart. everybody. These, again, these people are just pop, 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 and they just said they love it. Applause. I'm loving. So it. I'm glad you came. I hope you'll come again. I know I we will, will, folks. We'll, we'll plan it out. We'll plan it out. We'll do a night. We'll you know, we, night. we, we, we'll should, we should. We could actually just do a little kind of a podcast thing, yeah. chit chat. I used to do a lot of Clubhouse, and I may be doing it again, so I'll probably get you in that as well one of these days. So we'll I don't know what that, that means, but I'm in. Awesome. All right. Take care. Love and you, all pal. you, guys, thank you so much. Cheers. Bye. Bye. <laughs> How do we get him out? How do you go? Oh, he did it himself. Thank God. He's a man. He's the man. Aqua loved it. Everybody loved it. Did you feel the energy shift? So fun. So fun. So fun. I'm so, I'm so glad we've had this time together. Just to have a laugh or sing a song. Seems we just get started and before you know when comes the time we have to say so long yes we should do something you're right i'm glad you thought it was cool i wasn't expecting that either uh he was a great guest wasn't he um 
That's okay. He he didn't know what you meant about the thing screaming. I mean, it was funny. Phil is fun. Uh, Phil does impressions like me. Phil and I both tested for Saturday Night Live. Uh, we worked with one of their original writers, Ann Beats, who uh, is an Emmy Award winning writer from the first five seasons of Saturday Night Live. She was also a writer for National Lampoon, the magazine that came out, um, which predated the films and the radio hour and the albums. Um, so Phil and I have a lot in common. Uh, he's a good man with a good heart. And uh, he couldn't have said it better. There's a reason why we met on this path. So I just sang you the Carol Burnett goodnight song. Um, yeah, good energy, good love. So I'm going to, what does it say? You were filling him with the charm. You would bless me or others who are awesome people I have in my life. Going to thank you. Um, I'll say hello to Claude Lemur as we are uh, wrapping up this particular, what would you call it? I, I Instagram cast, stream, future podcast. I think I'm going to talk to Philip about doing something perhaps. Uh, I've been wanting to do a podcast. I just don't know what format. So I want to thank you all for being here for the signing, the singing, the chatting, the improvisation, the love, and the fun. Um, but I must go. I am exhausted. But this was a powerful, tight, fun stream, as Rimasu Rachel said. Um, and it was my pleasure. We will be streaming again. It's midnight in Philadelphia, so definitely time to get some sleep. And I'm going to feel that Philly time. I love the East Coast, my friend. That's where I grew up. And that's where my belly feels comfy. And um, good night, sweetheart. Oh, it's time to go. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. I don't want to to go but i really can't stay good night sweetheart good night